Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So this is Manju here and I welcome you all for my YouTube channel. So today in this video I am going to discuss with you is about 10 most important SQL Oracle Informatica related questions here. So those questions and answers are very useful and helpful for you people in interviews. So most probably those questions are asked in interviews. So uh, before starting the video so if you are not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to SQL master YouTube channel so that you will get more videos related to SQL Oracle and ETL subject perspectives okay so let us move to the things so this is what the first question here compare ETL testing with manual testing so what are the comparison between ETL testing and manual testing so this is also asked in interviews so here are some points here so I am going to cover here basic procedure requirements and efficiency so in ETL testing writing scripts for automating automating the testing process so as in manual a method of observing and testing here and requirements no need for additional technical knowledge other than the understanding of the software here in ETL and in manual testing needs technical knowledge of SQL and shell scripting okay then efficiency so when we talk about efficiency fast and systematic and provides top results here so in ETL as in case of manual testing needs time and effort and is prone to errors okay so these are the some key points between comparison between ETL testing and manual testing here so moving to next question the question is what are the various tools used in ETL so we, these are the tools what we used in ETL testing. So Cognos Decision Stream, Oracle Warehouse Builder, Business Objects XI, SAS Business Warehouse, SAS Enterprise ETL Server, and Informatica Power Centers. These are the tools which were we used in ETL testing. So moving to next question, third question, list a few ETL bugs. So these are the some of the ETL bugs whenever in ETL Informatica we get this one so calculation bug user interface bug source bug load condition bug and ECP equivalence class partitioning relation related bug so these are the few ETL bugs what we can list here the these are these things okay moving to next question fourth question is what are the cubes and OLAP cubes so this is most important question here so cubes are data processing units comprised of fact tables and dimensions from the data warehouse they are provide multi-dimensional analysis so these actually provides for analysis purpose they provide multi-dimensional analysis uh, facility so OLAP stands for online analytics processing and OLAP cubes store voluminous data in multi-dimensional form for reporting purpose we use these things for reporting purposes here they consist of facts called measures categorized by the dimensions so this is what the answer for this question moving to next question the explain what is the grain of fact so this is also very important question here and the answer would be like grain fact can be defined as the level at which fact information is stored it is the also known as as fact granularity okay so this is what the thing here at what level fact information is stored it represents that one and also it's called as fact granularity okay so let's moving to next question sixth question explain the use of lookup transformations this is 100 percent question asked in ETL testing interviews so the lookup transformation is useful for getting a related value from a table using a column value okay we can retrieve the related value in a table uh, by using a column value so update slowly changing dimensions table verify whether records already exist in the table okay let us move to the next question that is what is bus schema so this is also very very important question here so answer is for various business processes to identify the common dimensions bus schema is used it is it comes with a confirmed dimensions along with a standardized definition of informations 
okay so so for various business processes okay to identify the common dimensions so there are so many dimensions as the common dimensions to identify the common dimensions bus schema is used here so moving to next question explain what is the data purging so what actually the data purging is it is a process of deleting data from data warehouse it deletes junk data like rows with null values or extra spaces so unwanted data it is a process of deleting unwanted data it's called as data purging and next question is what is vi so business intelligence is the process for collecting raw business data and transforming it into a meaningful vision that is more useful for business so whatever the raw data available okay for some project some business key points so we collect that raw data is and then transforming those raw data in meaningful vision that that it must be useful for business okay that is what called as business intelligence okay so last question is what are the etl tools available in the market so nowadays what etl tools are available they may ask you interviewer so ibm websphere data stage informatica power center sap business objects data service pods sas data integration studio oracle warehouse builder open source clover etl so these are the some of the uh, mostly used etl tools available in the market nowadays so most probably uh, the famous one is informatica power centers okay so this is most use user friendly so almost all companies use that one okay so i think that you like this video if you like really kindly subscribe to my channel sql master youtube channel to get more questions and more concepts and more sql related queries in my youtube channel so i will be with you next video with some more concepts or queries so till that have a nice day bye bye take care